Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how to fix Call of Duty Warzone error code diver on PC which prevents gamers from connecting to the servers. The Dev Error 5476 issue popped up on Friday July 30th, preventing players from connecting to the servers, albeit for a short period of time. This time, some players are being met with a different error screen. Some receive one that says error code diver, while others get error code 6 when trying to connect to the game's servers from the main menu. If you're one of the gamers with this problem, here are the things you should do. First solution, make sure Warzone is updated with the latest patch. Before anything else, just make sure the game runs on the latest patch, because it's clear that there's really a problem somewhere and it's often fixed with an update. So follow these steps. To update the game, launch the battle.net client. Click games and then click Warzone. At the lower left portion of the screen, click the update button if it's available, or resume the installation if it already started but stopped. Depending on your connection speed, it might take a few minutes to an hour for the update to be successfully installed. But after that, try running the game and see if the error still pops up. Second solution, update your graphics card driver. The next thing you have to do if the first solution fails, is to make sure that the driver of your graphics card is updated. Obsolete drivers have a tendency to mess up the game's performance. Here's an easy way to update the GPU driver. Click Start and type File Explorer. Click File Explorer to open a folder. On the left panel, look for this PC and then right-click on it. Click Manage. Under System Tools, click Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters and right-click on your graphics card. Click Update Driver and then click Search Automatically for Drivers. You can also update your graphics card's driver by using the software that comes with it. Once all the drivers are updated, restart your computer before running the game again. Third solution, scan and repair Warzone files. After making sure that game and your graphics card driver are updated, what you have to do next is to troubleshoot the game itself. Let the battle.net client scan Warzone's game files as it will automatically rectify whatever issues it can find. Here's how you do it. Launch the battle.net client. Click games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click scan and repair, and then begin scan. It might take several minutes to complete, but wait until the client is finished doing its thing before launching Warzone. If this doesn't fix the problem, then move on to the next solution. Fourth solution, try using DirectX 11. For players who encounter crashes with a specific DirectX error, Switching to DirectX 11th of May enable the game to run smoothly. Here's how. Launch the battle.net client. Click games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Select game settings. Put a check in a box next to additional command line arguments and enter minus D3D11 in the text field. Click done to apply the changes. Restart the game to see how things go. If the problem persists, go ahead with the next fix. Fifth solution, reinstall the game. If all the previous solutions fail to fix the problem, then it's time that you reinstall the game. You have to uninstall it first to also erase all the game cache and installation files that may have been corrupted. After that, download a fresh copy from battle.net. This must only be your last resort as it may take several hours to completely download the game depending on your connection. Here's how you uninstall Warzone. Launch the battle.net client. Click games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click uninstall, and then click yes uninstall to confirm. After the game is removed, restart your computer before reinstalling it. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you one way or the other. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you enable the notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching.